Hi everyone! So I was browsing Jackson's as per usual, it's sort of become second nature for me by now. Anyway, I saw a new listing of Schminka's new product called Horadam Naturals, completely vegan. Coincidentally, they're also dropping a new product called Liquid Earth, so I'll be talking about those today. At the time of recording this voiceover, only the Liquid Earths are available, but we'll have to wait a little bit more for the Horadam Naturals. As per usual, for those who want to start shopping right away, you can find links to everything in the description box below. Let's start with Liquid Earth first. This seems to be an addition to their Liquid Charcoal range. Geared towards artists that use charcoal, Liquid Earth is a dust-free method of applying earth colors. There are three colors available open stock in 15 milliliter tubes. Chalk, Umber, and Sanguine. A set of three is also available, but the tubes are smaller at 5 milliliters. Here is a clip of the colors being swatched out on Schminka's Instagram page. Personally, I quite like the sanguine color. Reminds me of Derwent drawing pencil. Moving on to Horadam Naturals, here is the info from their website. Horadam Naturals Finest Vegan Watercolors, the natural fusion of watercolor and gouache. There is a total of 16 colors, exclusively made from natural earth pigments and plant resins and extracts. 100% vegan and based on gum arabic. They're matte and mostly semi-transparent or transparent. They can be mixed and combined with watercolor and gouache, with good light fastness. They're perfect for painting on nearly all types of paper, and they can be used pure or diluted with water because they're water-soluble and reusable after drying. They also have a subtle odor, which I'm not sure about that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> anyway, they're also available in 15 milliliter tubes or in two themed sets. The swatches and description of each color can be found below, though I can't find any pigment information on the Schminko website, but I did see pigment info on Jackson's. So each of the listings has pigment info listed. I took the liberty to put them all here on one page so you don't have to keep clicking in and out of each of the colors. Initially, I thought this range would be similar to Lutia's watercolors, but it's not really like that. Out of the 16 colors, I immediately recognized 9 of the pigments used. Dragon's Blood made with NR31 can also be found in a Gallows range. Matter Lake made with NR9 isn't exactly new either. I've actually posted a video on this pigment before, but the Windsor & Newton version. And then Celadonite and Caucasus Earth made with PG23. This pigment is also easy to find in other brands, usually named as Green Earth or Terra Verte. The PR102 in Yellow Ochre and Red Bolus is natural red iron oxide and can be found in many other brands as well, usually used to make some kind of red earth or an earth color in general. Green Slate made with PBK19. Schminke actually has this in the Hordam watercolor range called Hematite Black. And then Graphite and Vine Black made with PBK10 and PBK8 respectively can also be found in many other brands. Apart from that, I also found that Creamer also offers PW18, and Rublev also offers Lalverit Violet in powdered form. These six are the ones I'd say are unique and new to the watercolor scene in general. Again, if anyone has seen any of these before, please feel free to correct me in the comments. That said, these aren't completely watercolors. They say it's a fusion of watercolor and gouache, so maybe it's like Shinhan Pass? Who knows? Here are the two sets. Each has different artwork on the front. I actually really like the packaging. This exposed cardboard aesthetic really plays into the nature theme. And these are the colors that come in each of the sets. As per usual, I'll have links to everything down below. Personally, I'm not too interested in these mainly because I have the watercolor version for a majority of these from the Naturals range, and the only one I'm realistically curious to try would be the Sanguine from the Liquid Earth range. Please let me know what you think about these products. Are you excited? Are you disappointed maybe? Maybe indifferent? I'd love to know. Alright, that's it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.